Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Bedicher. In this video, I want to talk about mapping subclasses to tables and a little different approach than the one from the previous video. We start off with the student, which we say is subclass into graduate and undergraduate. In the previous video, we talked about creating one table. In this one, we'd actually create one table for graduate and a second table for undergraduate. And note the following. We have student ID and major as common attributes to student. So they show up here in the graduate table, student ID and major. <clears throat> they also show up in the undergraduate as student ID and major. Now we said that the graduate student has certain attributes not found in the undergraduate, such as GRE and undergraduate institution. And so we'd have no null values, and here's two student records, graduate student records. Likewise, for the undergraduate, we would have a high school and SAT score, no null values there. So that's the second approach. Now the question is, do you use one table or do you use two tables? I would say if you're going to be joining these tables together quite a lot, then I'd recommend using one table, and the, the uh, downside is you've got a lot of null values. If you're not going to be doing joins between the two tables, then having separate tables is fine, and that way you have no null, null values. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.